Let's have a look at the things that alter what weight someone needs. The first and foremost is how much air do you take in when you take a full breath? So we're talking now inside, you could be, uh, you know, four, five liters, you know, think of a three liter milk bottle. Well, the average size of a man's lungs about five or 4.7, I think, or something like that. So uh, that's how much air, think how much uh, uh, that flotation that'll give you. But uh, you know, there are quite a lot of people that have got six and seven liters of air. So first and foremost is how much air you take. Immediately you think of is something you can adjust is what suit you're wearing. A 1.5 mil suit that you wear in the tropics is really different to a seven mil suit that you wear in Tasmania. See, so the amount of weight you need for a seven mil suit is probably three or four times as much. It's huge compared to that 1.5. So um, yeah, so ballast has worked out on things like that. Body size, now people come up and tell me, oh look, or on the phone they tell me, oh you know I'm uh, 93 kilos, you know, and that's their weight. Well that doesn't tell me their body size because remember, it's the amount of water that is displaced. There is a proportion of weight compared to the body weight, but a 95 kilo person uh, who's like that is different than a 95 person who's lean muscle. See, so you've got to understand that. Uh, <clears throat> a, uh, so that's size of the body, your suit, uh, equipment to some degree, some people carry a heavy gun. You may need to take that into account as well. Okay. If you're training and if you're doing your stretching, you will change your ballast because you will develop larger lungs, larger capacity in your lungs. Okay, so now we get down into uh, weights and uh, how we carry them. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at, and this is where most people start, is your <clears throat> webbing belt. Now a webbing belt, these things are bulletproof, they last forever. Uh, this one here is a quick release. Quick release and webbing is perfect. How fast does this just go in and out? So it, it's great, okay? So quick release, belt, webbing. The problem with webbing though, is that once you start getting deep and your body gets pressurized, becomes smaller, and your suit becomes thinner, the webbing will not adjust to that. So what might be nice and snug on the surface, all of a sudden you floats around here, like that, when you're on the bottom and say 20 meters or something like that. But if you're thinking of a place to start and you're diving 10 meters, webbing's fine, okay? Uh, and it'll always be a second belt or a belt for someone else, you know? If a budget is a, is a thought, webbing is a great solution. Okay, so the next thing we come up to is rubber. Now the beauty about rubber is that it has a stretching, like this, a bit of stretch. So that when you put it on, you can just make it hug your body a little bit. Okay, here we go. Put it on, make it a little bit higher here. Okay, so we can make it a bit snug here, right? Now when it goes down and your body becomes smaller, gets pressurized, the belt holds in, it hugs in on you. Once, uh, once you start diving over about 15 meters, mm, I'd say a rubber belt is a must. Okay, um, the other thing is even when it, you do shrink below the level that the belt will shrink to, it's rubber uh, feel will grip to your suit a lot better than that of the webbing. So a rubber belt I think is the place to go. There's two designs, main designs in the rubber belt. You've got your quick release and that's the quick release here. And you've got the masse, a French word that's very long and it's probably a place. Now this is the one, with a buckle, okay? It's like a belt buckle. And you know, uh, you're often taught quick release, quick release is quick release. However, in the situation with a rubber belt, when you pull this open, I'll bring this up a bit so it can be easily seen. When you pull this open, this pulls out of there and it leaves a huge area here for your belt to flow out. It just flies out. So we've done tests on these, and uh, so long as the belt, when it pulls, pulls that pin out, 
like so there and leaves that gap, this is a faster releasing belt. Okay, so that's the good thing about it. The bad thing about it is two things that are, you know, needs to be taken in consideration is that you only have holes. You know, pre-made holes to go in. So if your body size is comfortable between the two holes, you don't have a choice. You're gonna either have to have it slightly loose or slightly tight. Okay, so that is one of the, the, uh, the things about it. Okay, <clears throat> uh, a rubber belt in the quick release, well, you, it's not a matter of uh, uh, your body size, whatever it is, you can adjust it there, you can adjust it, half an inch difference, look at that. <laughs> half an inch difference, and that could be just what it makes it comfortable. The thing about a rubber belt and a quick release uh, is that if the rubber belt is too thick and you have to um, release the belt fast, there are times when you can release it and it'll roll, you might need to pull it out a bit because you haven't got a lot of space for it to go through it. So my personal like on this, and we all develop our personal taste, if you like the quick release, go for a thin rubber belt, okay? Um, a rubber belt is not gonna last the years that a, uh, that a um, webbing belt will last. No, nah, but um, it's just better diving. And once you go rubber, you won't go back. Okay, so uh, let's just have a look at the weights. We've got a few different weights here, but uh, I think these are the most effective one. Why? You can notice here on the front there uh, and on the back there, you've got these little nobules of lead and these grip onto the belt. So this is the type of weight that you can have on your belt, and these ones are 500 grams. You can have these in um, you know, 500 or kilograms, and load a belt up, grab one end and walk off with it, and it's, they're not gonna move, you know, because of this, uh, this grippy situation here, okay? So uh, these are a better design. A little bit more expensive, but they're a better design, and I reckon they're good. Okay, um, the other good thing about it is we get them in 500 grams and sometimes just the difference of 500 grams makes all the difference, you know. So probably a good idea if you were planning on getting uh, say four kilos, you get three single kilos and two of these and that gives you just more options when it comes to settling your ballast. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. You can check out more content on our YouTube channel. Visit one of our stores and shop online at www.spearfishing.com.au.